Hello online pipe community, Ethan, Parsimonious Piper here. Today, we have got a Parsimonious Pipe. Before I show you that Parsimonious Pipe, what am I smoking in it? Ah, uh, this week I am smoking Vermont Meat Candy from Hearth and Home. Why, you may ask, would Parsimonious Piper be smoking an aromatic every day of the week for a full week? Tune in Tuesday and find out. today's pipe. Today's pipe is one of those in-between shapes. The bowl shape is an acorn. It's got a diamond shank, kind of bulldogish. This is a Briar Lee and I call it, I call it an acorn dog because uh, nobody really has a shape name for it. It's a nice small bowl. I, I can get about 30 minutes out of that, maybe 45. Short smoke, And like all my other Lees and Briar Lees, it is a fantastic smoker. So without any further ado, let's take a closer look. I included before and afters on this one, um, not because it was particularly filthy or the stem was really badly oxidized, but because this one had paint flecks all over it. And I, I it took me some care to get rid of those. As you, you can see on the top picture, there's a paint fleck uh, right there along the, the stem there at the curvature. I had to be careful getting that those paint pieces off will show you a little better angle of it right now there you can see more of the paint uh, that is on the stem and you can see one of the little flecks uh, right along the top of the stummel uh, there's a little fleck of white paint uh, near the bowl the stem i wound up cleaning I didn't want to put use any kind of a solvent that would that would get the paint off, but that might damage the plastic. So I just went ahead and used Briarville's um, their um, anti-oxy cleaning liquid stuff because I knew it was safe on the stem. Didn't know how it would work on the paint. Well, it it at least softened it right up to where when I scrubbed with a magic eraser, came right out. Taking a look at the rim, uh, the rim was uh, sooty. Uh, once I got it cleaned up, you'll notice still on the back side of the rim there, there is a little bit of darkening and that, that is a very slight charring. Um, I chose not to sand through it. Um, all of you, when you restore an estate pipe, have got to decide just how far do you want to go to restore this particular pipe. Um, as I say frequently, I leave battle scars because it reminds me that somebody loved this pipe before I did. Here we take a look at the backside and you can see a large spot of paint on the bowl itself and then a better shot of those um, the, the flecks of paint that were on the stem that came off so nicely. The stem first. You'll notice the stem was glossy. It was not badly oxidized. Uh, hitting it with the Briarville stuff is going to make it a little matte. I chose not to buff it. I don't have a buffing wheel. I have to do all of my buffing by hand. Uh, this being a second, I don't care if it, the stem has a matte finish as long as it is nice and black and all of that paint is gone. Now looking at the stummel itself, that paint piece, I had to get in with a razor blade to get that out. Um, I had to uh, to scrape and in places I used a, uh, uh, not a sewing needle, but a, a small push pin and very, very fine pointed pin to scrape all of the paint out of that wood. Well, what did that mean? Uh, it meant that I was going to have to, and did, have to sand that out uh, to get it uh, so that it wasn't just a rough piece. Now, that little pinprick of white paint that you see, I was not able to get that one out, even with the um, even with that fine needle point pin, uh, I could not pick that out. Uh, now, I could have sanded through that, but I am not going to reshape a pipe that much when it's it, simply for my pleasure. Got the big piece of paint off, got the paint off the stem. Looks all right. Internals were pretty goopy. This guy loved this pipe. Uh, this pipe got some use and not a lot of cleaning. Unfortunately, uh, it came very clean on the inside, as you can see, uh, all of that gunk. And now this does take a lot of pipe cleaners. It takes some bristle cleaners on the stummel side, um, alcohol, etc., and just patience. But that that came pretty darn clean. Now, as I always tell you, the level to which you clean up or restore a pipe 
is entirely up to you and your purpose for it. Uh, me, I'm smoking these things. I'm not reselling them. So I, I don't take them all the way back to a, a like new condition. Um, I'll always leave a little bit of the battle scars behind. Uh, this one is a fantastic little smoker. Um, $17 and change, including tax, shipping, and handling. They are out there if you hunt for them. It's a good little pocket pipe. This would, this would make a great beater, um, you know, knock around the car for short trips across town. Um, a fantastic little pipe. I'm, uh, I'm real happy I found it. Armchair Piper. Ed is having his fourth annual giveaway. Uh, he does this just to celebrate being on uh, YouTube and the YTPC for uh, every year that he's here. This year he is giving away four pipes. Um, I won one last year, Ed, so uh, don't include me in your giveaway draw. But I did want to answer your question. Ed wanted to know, uh, and anyone who actually watches his channel will know why he asked this. How do you choose your favorite pipe? Well, every time I'm going to smoke, I have a different thing going on. So for example, if I'm going to be making a video, how do I choose my pipe? Well, if it's Cobb Tuesday, um, obviously I'm going to have to pick a Cobb. Uh, if it is um, a, a parsimonious pipe day, it's got to be one that I'm finishing up, cleaning up. Uh, every other day of the week, with the occasional exception of Friday when I smoke a Friday 7 Ellie, um, I just go through my spreadsheet and I pick the next pipe in line. Um, I'm I'm just OCD enough to do that. Uh, and for my, my cobs, I do the same thing. My cobs are in my spreadsheet. And so I just go and I pick the next cob in line. Um, for non-cob days, uh, non-Tuesdays, non uh, I just skip the cobs if I've worked my way back around the rotation. I've got a couple hundred pipes, so it takes me a while to get through that rotation, but I do get to smoke everything. Once I have smoked that favorite pipe, if I'm going to enjoy another bowl, then I my next favorite pipe that I choose, uh, I've got a, a five pipe rotation of fantastic smokers that are not necessarily um, pretty pipes. Uh, they range from uh, a billiard to a couple of pots. Um, they are fantastic smokers and I, I if I'm going to have a second bowl of the day, that's going to be the next pipe. So I don't even really have to think about it. Um, weekends, it's pretty rare for me to have two bowls. Actually, weekends, it's pretty rare for me to smoke at all. Um, my wife's getting her hair done. I'm watching basketball. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to enjoy some pipes today. With that, folks, I hope you do too. Light something you like. Catch yourself some basketball. Maybe clean up a nice little pipe but enjoy your weekend.